story to tell. Introduced in December 2006, the Bulldog was designed as an upgraded variant of the FV430 APC, to meet an urgent operational requirement for extra armored vehicles for use in counterinsurgency campaigns in Iraq and Afghanistan. After Saddam Hussein's forces were soundly beaten following the US-led invasion of Iraq in 2003, and the euphoria of liberation had faded, the second phase of the war began, as guerrilla forces loyal to the former regime took up arms to remove the invaders. Part of the coalition force was the British Army, and it fielded the venerable armored personnel carrier version of the FV430 vehicle family as the FV432. With increased use by the enemy of improvised explosive devices and rocket-propelled grenades, the vehicle soon shown itself highly susceptible to these hidden threats. This prompted the service to take on an up-armored form of the troop carrier mark as the FP430 Bulldog. The first batch of 500 Bulldogs was completed in 2006. Armor of the FV430 was upgraded. The Mark III Bulldog was fitted with an explosive reactive armor and countermeasures jammers against improvised explosive devices. Some areas of the vehicle are fitted with slat armor for protection against anti-tank rockets. It is claimed that the FV430 Mark III is better protected than the Warrior Infantry Fighting Vehicle. A new engine and steering gear provide better mobility and maneuverability. Other features include air conditioning, and a gun station fitted with a 7.6 2mm machine gun that can be controlled from inside the vehicle. The modifications, as well as bringing the vehicle's level of protection up to that of the Warrior, give it better cross-country performance and a new top speed of 72 km per hour. This combat vehicle is not amphibious, however it seems that it might be fitted with flotation kit as its predecessor. In this case on water it is propelled by its tracks. Overall weight became 15.3 tons. The FV430 has a crew of two and can carry eight fully equipped troops. Troops enter and leave the vehicle via the rear doors or roof hatches.